When you first get to where your airplane is located, you will usually start with a pre-flight inspection. In the real world, it's important to do this so you make sure there are no issues with the airplane before you take off. Now some things in this video we will go through rapidly, but some things will take a little bit more time to discuss. One of the first things you'll look for when you come to the airplane is, is it symmetrical? Are there any dents on the airplane, for example? Uh, are there, is there anything that's warped? Uh, is there any oil on the ground? Uh, how are the tires? Are they properly inflated? Uh, things like that. So you're, you're looking for anything that looks unusual with the aircraft as you inspect it. As you're inspecting the airplane, one of the things you'll want to do is remove the pitot cover, which we see right here. We have the pitot cover on there and it says remove before flight. I can't actually do this in the flight simulator, but in the real world, you will want to do that and make sure there are no obstructions within the pitot tube, such as any kind of debris or bugs or something that might have gotten in there, which might then affect the airspeed indicator. So make sure that is done. Now we're gonna go inside the aircraft. So you will work through a checklist, which might be in the Pilot Operating Handbook, and that's a good system to go through as you're doing your pre-flight. One of the first things you'll want to do is to make sure your parking brake is set. And I'm going to click on this just so you see right now it's not set. And now it is set. So pulling the parking brake out sets the parking brake for this particular aircraft. The next thing we want to do is make sure that the ignition switch is off. In other words, turn all the way to the off position, which it is currently. Next to that, uh, we want to make sure the avionics power switch is off. In this particular Cessna, the avionics power switch looks like this right here, but in some Cessna Skyhawk aircraft, the power switch is a white switch and it looks it looks a bit different. Maybe like one of these switches over here, something like that. But anyway, for this aircraft, it is on this side and we want to make sure it is off. The next thing we want to do is make sure the master switch is on. Right now it's off, but we want to flip both switches to the on position. The next thing we want to check is to make sure we have enough fuel, which we can see here we are full. We'll want to make sure the pitot heat is on because we'll want to check that as we step outside of the airplane. So I'm going to flip that on. The next thing we'll want to do is turn on the avionics power switch. At that point we should hear the sound of a fan if this was the real world thing. We don't have the simulator here. But when we hear the fan, we are good and we will then turn this off. The next thing we'll want to check is to make sure the static air is in the off position. This is the off position, but I'm going to just show you that's on and this is off. So you want to make sure it's pushed in. Next, we're going to make sure that the fuel selector valve is in the both position, which it is. It's pointing straight. Uh, in this case, it says all but that is one and the same. If it was to the right or to the left, it would be pointing to one of the tanks in the left or right wing of the airplane. We are then going to want to extend the flaps to make sure that is working okay. So we're gonna move this down. You can hear the sound. Well, as I move it down, I'm gonna move this up so you can see that. That looks like that's working well. Let's look at it from behind the aircraft. You wouldn't be able to do this normally unless you got out of the airplane, but just to show you what that looks like. We are good to go there. The next step is to turn the pitot heat back off. And then we will turn the master switch back off. Since we just turned off the pitot heat switch, it is a good time to step out of the aircraft and make sure that the pitot tube is warm. 
you want to make sure you carefully touch it because it might be hot. Of course, in the flight sim, we're not really worried about that, but in the real world, that is something you would want to check. Be sure and watch part two of the pre-flight inspection to complete the process.